Price, they should have had a cash register in every room. Those nuns were always asking for money. Some of them may have been tolerable, but most of them were medieval. If they were medieval, it was because you were conducting an inquisition. Well, at least a few of the nuns allowed me to question. Sister Juliet, fresh out of the convent and truly an oasis in those arid days of parochial school. I think it's important for you to remember that God is not only an, an all-knowing and all-powerful God. You know, he is also a loving Father. And after all, he did send his only son to die for us. Yes, Steve? Sister Juliet, can Jews go to heaven? Of course. You know, Christ was a Jew. I thought he was a Catholic. As a man on earth, Mary and Joseph raised Christ as a Jew. And when he founded the Catholic Church, he was a Jew. And when he died for our sins, he was a Jew. And he was murdered by Jews. He was tried by Pilate and condemned by Pilate. He was crucified by Romans. With the Jews screaming their approval. True. So how can Jews get into heaven? The same way you and I can, Steve. See, in the end, it's up to each one of you to decide for yourselves whether to follow Christ's teachings. It's called free will. Well, does that mean that I can eat meat on Friday if I think it's a bad rule or miss mass on Sunday and I still get into heaven? That's not my decision. What if I choose to ignore the rules of the church? But then you face the retribution of the church. In the same way you would face the retribution of society if you were not to follow society's rules. So I'm condemned by the church for breaking a rule that I feel is unjust. Now, in the end, Steve, only God's praise or condemnation matters. Was Jonah really in the whale three days? Given the power of God, it's certainly possible. Sister Gertrude said it's true. Well, perhaps Sister Gertrude is right. Can God make a rock so big even he can't lift it? You know, Steve, that was a dumb question when I was your age, and it is still a dumb question. <laughs> now, we don't have much time left, so quickly, children, please recite your pledge of As I recall, Steve, Sister Juliet sort of liked you. Well, of course she did. She was a good teacher. And you're saying she was the only good teacher we had? Well, there were maybe two or three others. Well, I guess the public schools were filled with Nobel Prize laureates for teachers. I think all in all, we had excellent teachers. And are you still ask, Kiss and Kevy? Why do you think high school is so tough, Steve? Girls. Being left out, not necessarily in that order. Look, I didn't like high school that much either. I couldn't decide whether to be a kid or an adult. And I'm terribly sorry about your problem with women. Well, I may have had my problems, but at least God never talked to me in the bathtub. <laughs> children by wearing the brown scapular we assure ourselves eternal salvation by merely having it on when we die the almighty father forgives not only our venial sins but our mortal sins as well sister juliet does that mean that no matter what we do even if it's a mortal sin like eating meat on friday that we're still going to go straight to heaven as long as we have a brown scapular that's correct what if someone was real bad there lots of evil things would they still go to heaven as long as they had a brown scapular on when they died well, yes, but I think it's important I tell you a story about a boy who lived not too far from here. The boy was about your age, and who was known to have committed many venial and mortal sins as well. One day he went swimming in a lake not too far from here, wearing his brown scapular. And as the boy dove in, he struck his head on a jagged rock. At the very instant he struck his head, his brown scapular caught on a rock and ripped off him. The boy and the scapular then floated lifelessly to the surface. Uh, sister, exactly what type of sins did this boy commit? Kevin, I don't think that's important to this discussion. Sister, the other day I saw a green scapular. It was just like that one, but it was green. What does a green one do? Well, if you die with the green scapular on, it will erase any venial sin you have on your soul. So should you die with a mortal sin on your soul and you're only wearing the green scapular, you still face eternal damnation. But, Sister, then isn't it better to have a brown scapular than a green one? Yes, my child, it is. 
And I think we'll all agree that the brown scapular is definitely worth the extra 40 cents. Is this... God? If you're speaking to me, make the scapular move. What would you have me do for thee, Father? If you want me to be a priest, just tell me. I tell anyone about this? Move twice if I can't tell anyone. Hurry up in there. Go with the toilet. You better not be doing what I think you're doing in there. Needless to say, I told about 20 people about my vision. I guess I'd seen one too many of those religious movies they used to show us in gym.